In this video, I'll be showing you, uh, teaching you how to find all the factors of a number using arrays. And in this example, just to, before we start, I'd like to give you a quick definition of a factor. Essentially, a factor is any number multiplied by another number that equals a product. Or simply, we could say a factor times a factor equals a product. And you're going to be finding factors of numbers in this lesson. So for a couple of examples, the, uh, take this example, the number, um, or this problem, this equation, 5 times 3 equals 15. 5 and 3 are factors of 15, because when you multiply them together, they make 15. Similarly, 8 is equal to 2 times 4. 2 and 4 are factors of 8, because when you multiply them, you'll get the product 8. And the first example we're going to try here is we're going to try to find all the factors of the number 12. So I'm going to write my number up here, number 12, and get ready to list my factors later. The first thing I'll want to do is ask myself, can I multiply 1 times any number to equal 12? Well, I know that 1 times 12 equals 12. And so with my arrays, what I'd like to do is I'm going to make one row of 12 blocks. There's one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So right here I have one row of 12 squares or 12 tiles and this is my array, one row of 12. So I could say that 1 and 12 are both factors of 12. Now, I'm, after doing 1 times the number I'm trying to find factors for, I might want to try 2 times. Does 2 times any number equal 12? Well, 12 is an even number, so I know that 2 is a factor of 12, and it's actually 2 times 6. 2 times 6 is another way to make 12. As an array, I'm going to draw 2 rows of 6. I'll start by drawing one row of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And I'll draw a second row of 6 here. And again, I'm using 12 tiles, but this time it's arranged differently than in my first example. My first example was one row of 12. My second array is two rows. See, 1, 2, two rows of 6. And there's a total of 12 tiles. So 2 and 6 are factors of 12. I've made two different arrays. Now I want to ask myself, what about 3 times any number? I did 1 times 12, 2 times 6. How about 3 times any number? Is 3 a factor of 12? If I think about my times tables, I know that 3 times 4 is another way to make 12. And so I can make three rows of four. So I'll start by making one row of four. One, two, three, and four. Let's make another row of four. And a third row of four. There we go. Okay, so here I have three. One, two, three rows. And in each row I have one, two, Three, four. Or you might say I have four columns. One, two, three, four. Okay, three rows of four. So three and four are also factors of 12. So I might, uh, after trying three times a number, I could ask myself, what about four times a number? Well, of course, four times three. I just did that. So I'd just be switching the factors. And for my array, Instead of having three rows of four, I could start with four rows of three. But really, those are the same factors, just in a different order. So I'll move on to the number five. Is five a factor of 12? No. And if I count by fives, I can think to myself, five, 10, 15. No, there's no 12 in there. No 12. How about six? Well, yes, I already used six. Seven? can count by sevens. Seven, 14, no, no 12 again. I might try the number eight. Let's count by eights. Eight, 
16, no, no 12 again. And it turns out not for 9 or 10 or 11 either. So these are all my factors of 12. And finally, I want to write them in uh, order from least to greatest. And I can do that just going down and up. Here we go. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Those are all factors of 12. And I'll go up. 4, 6, 12. 4, 6, 12. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And I was able to make 1, 2, 3 different arrays using 12 tiles. Let's try the no another problem, another number. This time we're going to use the number 7. Number 7. Again, if you remember to the first example, the first number I want to try to multiply times 7 is always 1. 1 times 7 equals 7. Any number times 1 equals that same number. So one row of 7 is one way to make 7. Let me draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so one row of 7, 1 and 7 are factors of 7. What about 2 times a number? Does 2 times any number equal 7? Hmm, not that I can think of. Maybe I'll try drawing a picture. Maybe if I do one row of four and one row of three, that is a total of seven blocks. But you see, it actually doesn't make a rectangle. The length for the top of my rectangle is four, but the length for the bottom of my rectangle is three. So this does not work as an array. That would not make an array. So I cannot make two rows of anything to equal seven. And it turns out I can't make three rows or four rows or five rows or six rows either. Now, of course, I can do seven rows of one, but that would be the same array just turned. So for the number seven, the only factors are one and seven. That makes this a prime number, which we'll talk about in a future lesson. But writing the factors of seven from least to greatest are one and seven. So sometimes you'll have a number that can only be drawn one way, and it only has two factors, the number one and itself. And we call those prime numbers. What I'd like you to do now is see if you can find the factors of these following numbers so you can practice. So find the factors of these numbers using arrays. Make sure you draw the pictures. It's very important to draw the pictures. And then list the factors from least to greatest. Try these numbers. Try 10. Try 13. And try 15. Again, so feel, back, feel free to go uh, look back at the video to see how to do it if you need to again. Pausing if you need to. See if you can draw arrays. How many different arrays can you make for the number 10? And then what are the factors? How many ways can you draw 13? And what are the factors? And how about 15? How many different arrays can you draw for 15? And what are the factors?